Trainer. Hey guys, Blazing Trainer here. I bought three booster packs out of these. I don't think there's any way I'm not going to get the last cards that I need. Now, I have been looking at it and I may, instead of doing a Chaos Aquas Darkest, may do a Chaos Aquas Pyrus. But again, it depends what I get in the packs. So I got one of each artwork. So if I don't get enough for a playable deck in these booster packs, I'm going to be pretty sad. But no, no, there's no way. Okay, I'll be right back after I get the cardboard off. Alright, they're all ready to be opened, and I think I'll start with Nilius. Thank you, Bakugan, for putting that little tab there. It does make things a lot easier. Okay, first we have Counter Chaos. Well, one thing, there are a lot of flip cards in these sets. Well, in this set, I've, there's only one set. Well, Resurgence coming out, but in this set, I notice I've got some packs, I get a lot of flip cards. So I hope this is not one of those packs. I've gotten like Five out of ten cards are flip cards. One of them being my hollow hex of a flip card that I got earlier in the same pack. Okay, next we have Stone Skin. That's actually one of the better cards. Yeah, the, for three energy you get plus two under B power, but if you discard a card, which it lets you discard a card, you get plus 800 instead and I mean some cards activate just by being discarded strength of Maxotor for Ventus this is one of your better uh, damage boosters toxify now I do like that zero energy cost mm, if I get enough Ventus I may have to Put this in there just because I love zero energy cost. Tainted touch. Plus, uh, for two energy, plus two damage. And you discard a card for plus seven damage instead. Again, any card that gives you sacrifice is great for a darkest deck. Terrify. Four energy, minus six damage. And eh, not so good. Power ritual. One energy. Plus one energy for each Baku core that your Baku God hold. Okay. Resurgence has a lot that lets you add Baku cores to your Baku God. So, like in a Pyrus Chaos deck, this is going to be a great card. Because you could, like, for one energy, you turn to, like, six energy. Which is awesome. And Baku God has confirmed the plus energy you get from cards is just for the turn. Might of Cindius. For two energy, plus one damage. This turn, the victor is decided by the highest damage instead of B power. I've talked about this before. Now, for a one, uh, for a deck of Bakugan that have high damage instead of B power, I mean, this one can wreck your opponent's strategy. Oh, now we got Darkest Hyper Trox. That's a super rare. Wow, for 3 energy, you get nine, uh, 900 B power and 2 damage. That's pretty good. Oh, and when you play this, choose a player to discard a card. Now, that is nice if your opponent is not using Darkest and you don't have any cards that give Sacrifice that you want to use Sacrifice if you want to use, then... You could do it either way. This is a very nice card. For only three energy, awesome. Repel Darkest is my hollow hex. Uh, again, hollow, you're a hollow hex. The worst thing you can get is a flip card, especially one like this that I will probably never use. Okay, 
let's let's go Hydrus and save Dragonoid for last. Went a little deep with that one. I didn't want to bend the cards. That's one thing. If you pull the tab wrong, you will bend the corners of your cards. And me, which is a... I'm a card care fanatic. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that part of these packs. But everything else is great. Again, other than getting a lot of flip cards sometimes. Punish. Two energy. Choose a player to discard a card. Well, if there were some cards that when you discard them, you get to play them for free, they were better, like, uh, I know China Riot, I mean, China Riot would work, but, again, more support for it would be better. Halt Aquas, flip card, zero energy, stop Aquas, back again, again, not a big fan of these cards. Ventus Power, for energy, stop non-Ventus and draw a card. I'd probably prefer the, like, I think it's Repel Outsiders, it's 3 energy, stop non-Ventus. Over this, I mean, sometimes you, early in the game, you want to have 4 energy. Then again, Ventus is about gaining energy, so maybe it'd be okay for a Ventus deck. Lava Flow. Okay, now I do like that one. Zero energy plus for plus one energy. That's actually pretty nice. Depending if you can have a card that uses the nature of energy or you can play it. Like, I have a couple hero cards that use one energy that I might be willing to do. And, I mean, it's better than some of these. Uh, halt Defense. Zero energy. Stop Aquas. Uh, again, not my favorite. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. Stop Darkus. Pyrus Dominance. Okay, this is probably the best artwork on a flip card. Five energy. Stop non Pyrus and destroy an energy card. That's cool. The price is a little high. It was four. I could see it being a little more usable. Maybe an Aventus again, where you have a lot of energy. But either way, I'm happy to get that one because the art is awesome. Oh, this one was, maybe that was me turning it upside down. Whirlpool, three energy, plus three damage. Flow if you played another card this turn, plus three frost strike. Eh, frost strike isn't that, isn't that good. It can help you sometimes, but, okay. Flooding waters, one energy. Plus 2B power for each Aquas Bakugan on your team. Now for Mono Aquas, this thing is a killer. But either way, for one energy, it's you know, it's better than Greater Water Boost for the same cost. Hmm. Oh, well, oh, wait, no. Greater Water Boost is zero. I'm sorry. But still, that's, that's pretty good. Hyperdrive, a flip card, three energy. Both players may energize the top two cards of their deck. That's an interesting one. Hmm. That's pretty cool. No way. Okay, we got a awesome rare hollow hex, Titan Trox. Victor, you may energize the top two cards of your deck uncharged. For five energy, he's a thousand B power and four damage. This thing is awesome. Okay, I may have to get a Trox to put this in my Inventus deck. It is just so cool. And I got it in a Hollow Hex. Yes. Okay, final pack. A Pyrus Dragonoid one. Will I pull Pyrus Titan Dragonoid? I hope, I hope, I hope. Again, these packs are so much easier to open than Pokemon packs I've done in the past. I haven't really done or collected Pokemon cards in a little while, but... If you guys want me to open some, 
I might get a couple packs of team up because the new team up cards do look pretty cool. And I do play the TCG online if any of you want to see a gameplay of that. Just tell me in the comments below. Photosynthesis. Two energy energizes uncharged. Great. I mean, I may have to make me a Ventus deck just from all these great Ventus cards I'm getting. Cycling Icker. Five energy. Minus eight damage. Then return this to the bottom of your deck. Okay, I like to return to the bottom of the deck. But if you're going against Shadow Strike, does nothing for five damage. Is a little bit steep. Again, four would have made it a little bit more doable, but and it could still be good. Deafening Roar, three energy minus six hundred B. Now that's just why I really would like to combine Ventus with something else because the minus whatever damage it may be okay. But for B power, I mean, Shadow Strike would block them. Repel Darkest. Well, I got the hollow of it earlier. Of course, I got to get the regular. Woohoo. Fierce Boost. Two energy. Plus 200 B power. Fury if you have no cards in your hand. Plus 600 instead. Great card. Especially if you're into Fury. I'm personally not. Luminous Armor for six, uh, four energy, plus 900 to a Chaos Balkagon. Now, if you're running a mono Chaos, I could see where this could work, but otherwise, use something like, just have a Chaos in your team and use something like Bone Defense. We got... An awesome rare, uh, no, that is a rare, never mind, but still awesome. It's a diamond Garganoid Ultra. Five energy, you get 700 B power, nine damage, uh, a, uh, excuse me, a, uh, shield Baku Core, orange shield, gives you plus 800 B, and they have a diamond Garganoid pack after actually coming out so but i mean this is a pretty easy card to get a hold of i think this is actually this is actually my second copy i've gotten a hold of so if i ever do find the darkest garganoid i mean i'd probably keep it sealed like the rest of my diamonds but i mean i would have a play set but then again this is such an easy card to get okay we have Hyper Hydrus for three energy. Aquas Hyper Hydrus for three energy, 500 B power, 10 damage. When you play uh, an action card, it gets 200 B power. Wow, that's really good. I may, I may have to pick up that Hydrus carrying case because my other one is getting kind of full, and then I could use this card. Okay, you know we have two one. Two more cards. Oh, and that was that was a rare. This is a off. This is an awesome rare. Titan Halcor Ultra for five energy. It get, goes up to a thousand and one damage. Thousand B power, one damage. This ha uh this has one damage for each flip card in your discard pile. Light game, especially with that damage, uh, the cost of it. This thing could be killer. Especially if you automatically win the brawl. Well, up to a thousand V power probably wouldn't be that bad. But, you know, five energy is probably going to take all your energy. And sometimes your opponent can pull out better stuff with the action cards than you can with the, just one evolution card. But still, in the right occasion, this thing can dominate. And Hollow Hex is Smoke Armor. Three energy for plus 500 B power. Not a bad card, but would have preferred a Titan Dragonoid. <laughs> but still, I think I got some great cards. 
and definitely enough for a definitely enough for a deck now. I may have to go and find me a Trox core just because that awesome hollow hex diving trucks. Okay, I'm gonna real quick go over the best pulls, uh, like the rares, the awesome rares, super rare, you know. As I know some people do like to just skip to the end and see the rarest of the rare. Our rares we got were Mind of Cindius, Power Ritual, Flooding Waters, Whirlpool, and I did forget to mention that these were rare in the video, but as I was looking through, I noticed, yes, these were rare cards. And I do like the Midas Cindius. That is a very good one. And Power Ritual in the right situation. The other two, uh, they're good. But, again, these two, especially Midas Cindius, have some real good deck powerhouse potential. Hypertrox and Hyperdrive are both super rare. Tell by the copper lettering. Both are very nice cards. And over here, we got our rare. Should have done that first. Oops. But Darkest Diamond Garganoid and Aquas Hyper Hydrus. I may have to start, try to utilize Hyper Hydrus, depending on how good the core is. I really don't remember or haven't looked at it. I think I've looked at it, but I don't remember its stats. And Titan Halcor Ultra is our awesome rare. Our best rarity of the day, I believe. Yeah. The only other awesome rare was in our Hollow Hex. In the form of T Ventus Titan Trox. And our other hexes are Smoke Armor and Repel Darkus. Which... I'm not happy about Repel Darkest, but Titrox makes up for it. And there's a new version of Titantrox, I believe, in the oops in the resurgence set. I think that's Titantrox Ultra. But still, the it's a great the Titantrox is a great addition to my team. A reason to go and grab a core truck please like and subscribe and tell me in the comments section below how i did on my first card pack opening and how i could do better and until next time blaze on